A British family seems to be haunted by a spirit they call Freddy. Unlike most other families with a lingering paranormal problem, they seem to have gotten used to being haunted for the most part and largely ignore Freddy, laugh at him, or otherwise treat him as if he's a bratty child. It's an unusual technique that's made for some interesting videos from 2017 to 2018. Come on, Freddy. I know we call you Freddy, but we don't know what to call you yet. But we like it. <gasps> I guess this ghost simply doesn't like to be addressed by the wrong name because nothing touches the can, and yet it makes a noise and goes flying. They never do call it Freddy again after this, at least not to its face. I don't see how this is faked because I don't see a string. In fact, I don't see a string in any of their videos, like this one for example. No string shows against the dark window as this phone lifts up and slams back down only when she tries to say hello. Don't touch her. You don't have to touch her. Hello. And later they turn the light on just to prove that it's not fake. Come on. Put the light on, put the light on. <gasps> Look, the light is on. You can clearly see there is no fishing wire or strings. If this isn't a ghost, then tell me how it's being done because I really don't know. It's just hovering. Look at that. Most of the activity seems to be happening in this living room. When they are all in the kitchen, stuff in the room always seems to move, almost like Freddy is trying to get them to come over here. Aside from the phone, this dog picture seems to be its next favorite object to animate and suspend in midair. You'll be alright. Oh, yeah. I'm not lying, the picture is levitating. Yeah. It's, uh, I can't. You can't. I suppose somebody could have been standing on a ladder off camera and using a string for the last video, but I don't see it. And there are other videos like this one where they show the full room and look at that flashing red light. It looks like the ghost may have left them a voice message which they unfortunately don't play. I would have really liked to have heard Freddy's real voice. Here they are on a different day standing all the way on the other side of the house and here the picture is bobbing up and down all on its own while the curtains move about on their own. The windows are up so it's not somebody running a wire from outside. There's just no easy explanation for this one. Then to make matters even more confusing, the picture simply drops on its own as if the ghost is done playing with it. When the mother goes to pick it up, the overhead lamp starts swinging all on its own. Swinging lights are another tactic Freddy uses to try and drive them mad. It is one of the things that seems to honestly annoy the mother and that's probably why Freddy is always doing it so often. First, it swings back and forth, and then when that fails to get a reaction from them, it starts to move in small, nauseating circles. Before you say that the camera person must be pulling on it with a string, consider that there is clearly no string to be seen, and that the light over the living room, where no one is standing, mind you, is doing the exact same thing. Plus, I really don't think they'd risk breaking the lamp by swinging it this hard themselves, and the more they ignore it, the harder the lights swing. Freddy gets so upset that he figures out how to express his anger in a new way. The door, the door, the door, the door. Look oh, at that. Man. The door's never done that, ever. Wow. Nobody touches the door at all. Nobody is anywhere near that part of the house. At 49 seconds is when you should be able to see a string connected to the door. But even at half speed and zoomed in, no string is to be found. It's truly closing by itself. And in this window where objects are always moving, stands the outline of Freddy. Some videos seem much more easy to explain than others. Somebody could be shaking the table from underneath. Okay. What? The table's moving. <laughs> Alright, stop that now. Look at the cat, look at the cat. I know. While other videos seem unexplainable even years later, I would have liked to have seen the other side of this picture to see if they were using high-powered magnets, but I guess we'll never get the chance. I find it interesting that Freddy seems to be confined to the kitchen and living room areas. Something bad must have happened here to confine it to these areas of the house. Perhaps its anger will one day allow it to explore the rest of the home. In the meantime, they don't know what it is or what it's trying to tell them, and they don't really seem to care. And their indifference only seems to make Freddy grow more determined to grow stronger and show them his true form. <laughs>